guys, it's me, Lisa, with Lisa's Crafty Creations, and today I'm kind of doing a working video because Elizabeth from Liz's Craft and Gifts on Etsy, you've heard me talk about Elizabeth a lot, her and I have donated some um, creations to Cindy Murray, who runs CraftyNeighbor.com and Crafty Neighbor Tra Travel. And Cindy is a travel agent. She does a lot of cruises, but she'll do anything. But she does a lot of cruises, and she hosts special cruises. She hosts crafting cruises, and she's doing a scrapbooking cruise. And the ladies on there are um, very excited, and they're going to get, like, goodie bags. They're going to have drawings and everything. So uh, Elizabeth and I have donated some creations for this trip. And I wanted to show you a couple, so it's kind of a working uh, video today. First thing I'm going to show you is Liz's donation. This is just so beautiful and so just neat. Okay, she's donated. This is a safety pin. You wouldn't know it by looking at it. She's put beads on it, and because it's a pirate theme, she's taken like a pirate bandana and uh, shredded it and put it on the bottom. And it's got a little hook on the top, so you can hook this anywhere or put it in your scrapbooking journal if you'd like. And then there's her business card. Isn't that great? So Liz donated that. She donated something else as well. I'll get to that in a minute. Because Cindy's group are scrapbookers, they're not like us junk journalers. Junk journalers will use any papers in our junk journals. Vintage, old, crinkled, brown. The browner, the crinklier, the better. Uh, in fact, we do our own coffee and tea, coffee staining tea dyeing. But scrapbookers like acid-free paper, and that's great because crafting has to be everybody. It has to be varied or it would be totally boring. So keeping this in mind, I am making these uh, mini file folders that are out of the acid-free scrapbooking paper. And I have this one, I have this one, this design. And keeping with crews and pirates and stuff, this is a fish scale and that's water. And what I will be doing is inside my little folders, I will be putting a business card and a piece of homemade washi tape, which I will show you in a minute. I'll put those in. And then they'll be attached using a decorated paper clip, which will have a scrapbooking embellishment flower attached to it. Okay, so that's my little uh, goodie, ba goodie for the goodie bag right here. So that's what I'm working on today. And I was going to show you a couple of things. First, we'll start with the easy thing, which is my embellished paper clip. I'm going to take this scrapbook uh, flower, which means it's a scrapbook embellishment. So the ladies will be fine with this. And I'm just going to glue it to a paper clip like this with a little bit of glue. And my glue is being contrary today. So just a dollop of glue. And then I'm going to put this over here to dry. I've kind of moved. There we go. There. Okay, next I'm going to show you how I did the homemade um, washi tape. I just took some scotch tape about three or four inches, five long. I put it on my wax paper like that. Get close to the edge as possible. Then I take my scissors and I'm going to cut around the leaving just a little bit so I can grab it off the um, off of the um, wax paper. If you're like me, it's hard to see. The old eyes aren't very friendly sometimes. Okay. And then, and you're, if you're wondering, will the tape come off the parchment paper? It will. I'll show you here. See, it pulls off and on very easily. I'm going to trim this up some, so I'm going to hold it up so I can see. And, I, you know, straight lines 
don't occur naturally in nature and they don't occur naturally with me either. That's why I like junk journaling, nothing's precise. But if the ladies would like it straighter, they're more than welcome to trim it. I have this great, again, scrapbook paper. It's a little snippet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue on the top of the tape, but not putting it too close to the edges because I don't want to glue the um, tape to the um, parchment paper. So I'm gonna put it right down the center. Like that, make sure I got a lot. And I'm just gonna put the parchment paper, making sure, I mean the parchment paper, I'm gonna put the scrapbook paper right on it. Push it down. Make sure it's on there good. And you can let it dry, you can trim it a bit like that. And then go back and trim it some more after it's dry. Sorry, there we go. And there's our homemade washi tape. You can fold this around something like this, or you can just clip it. I'm gonna clip it straight with my business card inside a file folder. So that's our homemade washi tape. So Liz and I are gonna put our little goodies in here for um, Cindy's crafty neighbor travel on her scrapbooking cruise. And what I've done is I have a craft bag here and I've attached a map. And to make the map kind of look old, I have taken, where is it? I have taken my nail file and gone around the edges. And you just work your way around. And it takes several minutes to do this. And I will say, um, you know, you have to work it. And you do this all the way around. And if you can see this one, it's still curling up. I didn't glue it all the way down so they would get the effect of an old uh, treasure map. And we're gonna put our goodies in this. All of our little goodies from Liz's Crafting Gifts on Etsy and from Lisa's Crafty Creations on Etsy. We're going to put them all in here and we have to do 20 of these. So that's what I'm doing today. Also, I wanted to share, we donated a prize in a drawing and Liz made this great chunk journal for our scrapbookers. It's going to be great. We're sharing our talents and they're going to love this. It is four inches by, I think, we're gonna say two and a half, two and three fourths, and it's just gorgeous. Here is another uh, blinged out safety pin with our um, pirate bandana. We've got the beading on here, like the pirate booty. Here is the pirate uh, bandana again. She's sewn around the edges, and it just ties with the same bandana. And I'm just going to take a little peek in here. I don't want to open it up and stretch it and get it, you know, all used. She uses real junk journal, junk in her junk journals. Here is a, um, um, tag. Isn't that great? It's a nice thick tag too. Oops. Put it back in there. And then she's got, uh, her gesso. She's got book pages. She's got menus. She's got watercolor paper. I mean, it's just all great in here. And she's made this pocket, which is really cool, using, uh, looks like an ad, and a coffee, um, Starbucks coffee thing. She made a tag off of a book page that looks like it's been stamped with doggy paw prints. How cute. And look at that. And it's all been gessoed, so you can write on it. This is gonna be such, oops, such a treat. As a prize, I am so jealous. I wish I was going on there to win this. So anyway, so this is the special uh, thing that Liz donated for her prize, and I'm really excited. They're gonna love that, okay? And uh, so I just wanna say thanks for joining me. I just wanted to give you kind of an idea what we're up to. Check in Lisa's Crafty Creations on Etsy often. I will be adding more. Uh, things. I also have journals up there now. I have a graduation kind of card-like journal, nothing too thick, that you could put pictures in, write, you know, happy graduation sentiments and give to a graduate. 
I also have some wedding journals, junk journals in there, but you could also use them for guest sign-in sheets at the wedding, at a shower. I have a pink and I have a blue, but you can spruce those colors up to go with anything. I also have some uh, vintage fabric in there. I have some Swami cards that would work great in junk journals. You could put uh, glue one side to some hard card stock, make it a tag. It would have a fortune on one side and decoration on the other. That would be really cool. So just check out Lisa's Crafty Creations. If you do, you see something you're interested, but you're not sure how to use it, message us. We'll give you a couple of ideas. So thanks for joining me. I've got to get to work on this stuff for Cindy Murray over at CraftyNeighbor.com and Crafty Neighbor Travel. So thanks for joining us. All of our shops and websites are linked below. Bye.